Okay, so there are still a couple of things that we need to do to our object before we can export it and bring it into the UDK. Um, firstly, what we need to do is uh, make sure it's the right size, that it's in the right position. Um, and also we need to make sure that the object um, doesn't have any history. The history is all of the um, operations that have led up to this shape being created. Uh, you can see that we've got the polyplane, we've got where we deleted the corner sections, uh, where we um, moved those edges down, merged the vertices, uh, sewed the UV map, uh, moved the corners of the UV map out, um, uh, tweak, I'm not sure what that was, um, uh, and we've got our bend um, deformer here uh, and all of these things um, uh, need to be condensed down into one simple shape node uh, so that it doesn't confuse the engine at all. Uh, so that's what we'll do first. The, um, so with our object selected we'll go up to edit go down to delete by type and we'll pick history. You'll see that there is non-deformer history and history um, therefore if we delete history we are actually deleting any deformers that come along with our object. So we'll just delete that and you can see that we no longer have a little deformer wire there. All of our uh, previous inputs have disappeared and now we simply have a shape node which defines how this object is built. Next thing that we need to do is to move this into position. Now at the moment um, the uh, pivot point of this object is in the middle of, uh, well it's on the origin point which is where it has been since this object was created. Uh, what we need to do now is to move that pivot point to this corner here. That is so that when we bring it into the game, we can line up this corner with the grid in UDK. Uh, we can rotate around this point. Uh, and so if we rotate the object and scale it, we can still line it up with the grid. Uh, it, it also helps for when we're placing objects next to one another. It's good to have the, um, the uh, pivot point of our object um, right on the edge where we want where we want the uh, where we want it to line up with the grid okay so to move the um, the pivot point of our object is fairly simple uh, you can either hold down the D key um, I'll just get focus back here hold down the D key and you can move the um, the pivot point that way or if you wanted to you could just press the insert key once to switch over to the um, pivot point move mode and tap it again when you're finished. I like holding the D key because um, it's fairly simple and, uh, and uh, it seems to be quicker than the other way. Uh, so we'll hold down D, we'll also hold down the V key which is uh, snap to vertices and we'll notice that uh, it goes to a circle in the middle of our uh, manipulator and um, here's a trick, you uh, put your cursor around where you want to snap to and you press and hold your middle mouse button and just sort of uh, jiggle the mouse around a little bit just to sort of get it to snap to that point. And there we go, we've moved our pivot point to, uh, to where we need to put it. Uh, now what we need is to put this uh, pivot point back on the origin and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to the origin here and uh, I'm just going to hold down the X key because we're in move mode at the moment and so I'll hold down the X key and again I will just uh, uh, wiggle the mouse with the uh, middle mouse button uh, pressed and there we go we have um, snapped the object to the um, to the origin of our level, or well, of our um, of our scene. The uh, next thing that we need to do is to check the size of this object. So, uh, what we need is an object which is uh, going to line up with the with the grid 
um, in appropriate measurements that UDK can handle. And by appropriate measurements, I mean um, multiples of binary uh, measurements, so um, that's like uh, multiples of 8, 16, 32, 64, etc. So uh, to do a measurement, what we can do is we go to Create, Measure Tools, and Distance Tool, and I'm going to hold down the V key again to snap to vertices, and I'm going to snap one on that point there. I'm then going to snap the next point to that there and we can see that our object is 192 units across and uh, and that's actually fine that's uh, that's a good measurement uh, for the for the game um, 192 is a fairly uh, common unit of measurement um, in Unreal uh, Engine games and so we can we can leave that at 192 now we can go to the side view and we will check to see how um, high and how um, deep our wall section is. And we can already see that there is a problem because this isn't lining up, this, this corner here isn't lining up with any of the major grid lines, which means that it doesn't really divide um, by eight. Uh, and so that uh, could be a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what the um, nearest uh, grid line um, distances are. So holding X, I'm going to snap to the grid there. Uh, hold down X again, and I'm just going to click there. And we can see that that is 104 units from there to there. 104 is a number that you don't see very often in the game. Um, it doesn't really line up with a lot of things. So um, we'd know that uh, the next grid line up is uh, eight more units, which would be 112, uh, which again isn't that, um, uh, isn't that common a, uh, a measurement in the game. Uh, 8 more than that would be 120, but 8 more than that would be 128. And we'll just confirm that. That's 128. So that's the measurement that we that we want our um, uh, our wall to um, to reach to. So with that um, measurement there, I'm just going to select our object, go to um, scale which is the R key on your keyboard I'm just going to scale it up until we get fairly close to that measurement and just to just to zoom in and we can with the middle mouse button we can drag to get as uh, as close to that as we can if we zoom in yeah that's fairly sort of fairly accurate That's fairly close in both height and the uh, distance uh, from that perpendicular line as well. And so, um, one o uh, 0.205, so 1.205 uh, should get us to that uh, that scale fairly well. And just to make sure that. Um, we're 128 units deep as well as 128 high. I'm just going to uh, put another measure tool here and 128 units. And so that's more or less the, uh, the size that we want it to be. Now, if we go back to our perspective view, we can see that the one measurement that we had correct right from the start is now no longer correct because we uniformly scaled out from this point. But this is very easy to fix. Because we knew that it was the correct measurement in its default uh, scale, uh, we can see it's along the x-axis. And if we take that and we just take that down to 1, it's back to the 120, uh, 192 units. And there we go. That's more or less the uh, the size 
uh, worked out.